Hey everybody, this is Dr. Dean. Welcome to this installment of the Tour of Consciousness. What a great pleasure it is to be with you. Um, let's talk for a minute, okay? As a lot of you know, I recently moved to Texas. Sort of the subject of the hour or the last few months for me because it changes so many things when you move. It's interesting, you know, living in Santa Barbara, it had a particular energy. So for example, every single person that I have told, without exception, that I said, yeah, I just moved from, you know, from Santa Barbara to Houston. They're like, what? Why did you do that? As though I'm the biggest idiot in the world who's making the biggest mistake of his life and I must not know what I'm doing. And I also realized that in Santa Barbara, see, people have this energy of, I so want to live in Santa Barbara. So there's this lightness to it because you have this sense of, wow, how did I get so lucky to live here? In Houston, people don't want to live here apparently because there's a lot of people like, oh, why are you here? Why don't you go back to Santa Barbara? I'm like, um, have you seen my house? Have you seen the acre of greenery right behind my house? Have you seen the fact that I live right on the bayou, which has a sense of peace and space to it that is unmatchable? So what's the tool? Well, number one, for those of you who've resisted moving to a different circumstance, even if it's a different city, even if it's a different home or a different apartment or something, a lot of us have resisted. Why? Because it means change. What if you didn't have to resist change anymore? What if change, rather than being something to resist, what if change, rather than being something that was wrong and bad or would result in something worse, what if change were actually the creation of something greater always for you? So how many other people's points of view have you bought about change being a bad thing, change being a terrible thing, change being something you should avoid, rather than change being the adventure of your life that will create something greater? Everything that is, times again, zillion weed, destroy and create it, please. Right and wrong, good and bad, pot and pock, all nine, shorts, boys and beyonds. And here's the weird part. Uh, I could always move back if I wanted to. See, that's the other thing is, so the next part of this tool is something called living in 10 second increments. It's something we talk about in Access a lot. If you were to live your life in 10 second increments, what choices would you have that you don't believe you currently have available? So it works like this. Okay, you have 10 seconds to live the rest of your life. What do you choose? Good choice. Okay, that lifetime's over. You have 10 seconds to live the rest of your life. What do you choose? Okay, that lifetime's over. You have 10 seconds to live the rest of your life. What do you choose? What if every choice were only good for 10 seconds? So the thing about this 10 second increments of choice is it requires you not to try to choose the right thing. Choose what you can in the moment. Choose what is lighter in the moment and realize that it may not be the perfect choice and it is not your only choice. What if you didn't have to choose the right thing? What if it's about choosing and what if the act of choice will let you know whether it's going to work out or not? See, because choice creates awareness. Awareness does not create choice. Choice creates awareness. Awareness does not create choice. Well, what does that mean? Well, what most people are trying to do is they're trying to check all the boxes and make their lists and if everything matches, then they'll choose it rather than being willing to look at the energy, go, what will my life be like in five years? And if it's lighter, choose it. And if not, don't choose it. Choose something else. So choice creates awareness because as soon as you make a choice, you get the awareness of what it will create. Awareness does not create choice. In other words, once you have checked all the boxes and made sure everything sounds good, then you choose it. How often does that work out well for you? A lot of times you had the awareness of not to choose something even when it matched all of your criterion and where you got to check all the boxes. So, thanks for being with me. I look forward to being with you next time. Bye-bye.